Hello everyone! In this video I'll show you how to create a filter for your media gallery by using Royal Elementor add-ons plugin. This is an example of what you're gonna build in this tutorial. You can see here I have a gallery grid which is filterable by some kind of categories. And if that's what you're looking for, all you have to do is to install Royal Elementor add-ons free plugin, alongside with Elementor itself of course. So here I have a demo page and on this demo page I want to create a gallery. In the first place let's go to Elementor add-ons, scroll to bottom, and in Royal add-ons let's find the widget called Image Grid. Drag and drop into our section and we can see that it automatically inserts some of our photos from the media library. But I want to manually add some photos, so in selection let's choose Manual. Click on Add Images, I'll select few photos from the library, click on Create a new gallery, and finally insert gallery. It looks great but we don't have any filter, so how do we add one? First of all we need to go back to our plugins and click on add new. Let's search for a plugin called Media Library Assistant. Keep in mind that you can use other plugins too. I'll explain that in a moment. Let me first install and activate it. Alright, it's activated and the reason why we installed this plugin is that it lets us create categories for our media files. So let's go to Media and click on Categories. And on this page we can create any number of categories for our media files. Just like we would do it for other things like posts for example. I'll call the first category Nature. Second one will be Animals. And finally I will create the category called People and it will be enough for this tutorial. Let me go back to library and now we can attach those categories to our images. Let's open the file, click on the ATT categories and check the desired one. I will quickly repeat these steps for other files in our gallery. But remember, as I already mentioned before you can use any other plugin that lets you create taxonomies for media files. You don't have to necessarily use the one that I've used for this tutorial. Alright, let's go back to our page, update and refresh it, so our widget can see the categories that we've just created. Let me edit the widget, and in layout settings we can see there's an option called show filters. We have to enable it, but it won't show any filters just yet. So down below there's another options tab called Filters, and here we need to select the taxonomy which we've used to create categories, in our case it's ATT categories. And that's it. As you can see our gallery grid works as it should. We can filter it by categories, or we can always go back to all photos. Now in Filters tab there are a few options that we can play with, for example we can disable or enable show all filter change its text, maybe you have some products instead of photos. We can also set a separator between filters. And of course align its position. There's also an option to choose the animation that happens between filtering. And if you're using a pro version, there's even more options. To change the style and look of our filter, let's go to style step. And down below in Filters options we have two states, like Normal and Hover. Where you can change the color of the text, apply background color and border color as well. Choose the border type. And of course we can also change the typography settings. And when we're done, we can do the same for hover state. Again change the background color, border and typography and as you can see there are many other settings that you can play with. So that's pretty much it. That's how you create a filterable media gallery. Please don't forget to check Royal Elementor add-ons where you can download the plugin and upgrade to Pro as well as get help from our support team. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon 
in the next tutorial.